Welcome to the Benz Tours 100th Anniversary Special. The whole point behind Benz Tours is to either make you feel like you've been to the place or to make you want to go there yourself one day. When I first started Benz Tours a couple years ago, I was doing an online blog that, quite frankly, I was getting bored of and no one was really reading anyway. But I needed some sort of creative outlet and I realized that my two favorite hobbies were travel and travel photography. So I came up with the idea of doing a YouTube group of my travel adventures and Ben's Tours was born. In the two years since I started Ben's Tours, our 99 episodes have seen us visit 22 cities across 12 U.S. states and four Canadian provinces. Now in the 100th anniversary special, let's look back on some of my most memorable moments. installment of Ben's Tours, we're in Miami South Beach. While the Boston Common is probably much more famous, to me the public garden was really 
again, one of my favorite spots in Boston. I sat every morning, or most mornings, with my coffee, and I would sit on my bench, and I would feed the birds, and the squirrels, and the pigeons, and the ducks, and anything else that would come. So I became the Birdman of Boston. Even more unlikely than the presence of the monument in Central Park was the monumental task of getting it here in the first place. Standing at the bottom, trying to imagine this being loaded in a sailing ship in 1879, sailed all the way across the ocean. Once they reached the Hudson River, it took it four months to get across the city to its current location at Greywalk Knoll. I'm here in the Minnesota National Wildlife Refuge. It's one of only four urban refuges in the United States. The only problem is it's January and it's very cold and I think I'm the only thing alive. It's minus 13 Fahrenheit today. And Celsius, I, I can't even do the math on that, so let's just say it's it's very cold. I think I'm hunting rabbits. 